Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, bra? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Good morning, my people. Today, sleep at this new hotel. I know I say that so many times, but I caramba, so damn good. What a difference. What a difference. To sleep in a bed, in a room with eight other people. Other people are hearing music, someone turned on the lights, someone is talking to his girlfriend like and you're by yourself, you have nothing to worry about, you go to bed whenever you want to go to bed, there's no lights, there's no distractions, there's no nothing, so good, so good, you guys can't imagine how good that feels bruh, but anyway, am I late? No, I'm not late, oh yes, they are already out there, because it's training time guys training time because I could keep going from club to club but bruv I need to train and the coach here invited me to come down for training to keep fit because he has some links and connections so he's gonna see what he can do but we're gonna use that opportunity and train because training is fundamental whenever an opportunity comes I need to be ready so let's do it and I hope I can get as much footage as possible from this training session yeah to Asian side every morning <laughs> come back every day and your bar go try if they play four against four now you go cancer that's why there are people who play indoor game and they are more fitter most people they play four aside beach soccer you know people are more you might be looking at it, oh, easy. You do ski. Everybody is back. That's why sometimes we play four against four here. So they play. People this morning we have the position of the money will be much. I want to see you, whether you do whether you, your your ability will reach this money. Whereby if you hold the ball, only you go back and they come run you down. Chase them. You see that you eat. Mona, they suffer, they pull back for the ball before, before, before I pass where we is there, go. Oh. Small, eh? Small. Aha. Uh -huh. Small. Mona, keep the pace of the ball. Keep the pace, Michael, keep the pace. Come 
Marco Mike. So training session finished and after playing yesterday's match because yesterday we played two halves of one hour which is just crazy like we did yeah two hour game literally like the intensity of today's training session was quite intense and this is what I don't get because when you play the match it is so important the next day to really take care of your muscles to do a proper recovery but anyway tomorrow there's another match and I hope I can record that match a little bit but look at the state of this building wow how amazing is this place please ay caramba wow wow how amazing does that look guys huh so nice turkey such a nice country because it's an islamic country like i think i don't know i don't even know what that is it's a mosque or just a nice building but it's amazing wow wow you want to take a picture together Hi. planning to come to Turkey Istanbul highly recommend guys it doesn't need to be for football just for holidays or like vacation 100% this is such a beautiful country guys of course there are parts which are not as beautiful as here but unbelievable unbelievable such a nice place Wow so good so good so we are back in the hotel my lovely room and you guys can't imagine how good that feels to actually be able to go back to your room after a hard training session or a good training session and just relax you can sleep and like just do your work no one is distracting you that's so good and let me guys tell you like for the last days Obviously because I always stay in hostels and or hotels and usually hostels they like 90% they always have a kitchen where you can cook but here in Turkey I haven't seen one yet so I just simply either eat outside like go to a restaurant because food wise here it's a bit cheaper than usual so I just have some bread with um, I don't know whatever most of the time as well what I do is because what I did, I bought, this is what I bought, right? Oops, Salah. Pineapples, water. So this is what I bought. This is like, um, I think it's Turkish bread. It's like seasoned, seasoned bread. Really nice, I like that. But what I mostly do is just eat Kellogg's porridge with protein, um, milk or whatever, or like a drink. And that's it, and mostly with a banana. 
so I just eat that most of the time like just twice per day first meal this and then in the evening I have like go to a restaurant but that's not good at all like I don't I think the last time I ate vegetables is like a week ago like proper vegetables but it's not the best food obviously you shouldn't eat fast food and go out in restaurants and stuff like this but I don't have a choice so right now while I'm looking for a club it's just to grind mate it's just to grind just the sacrifices that I do but I'm so thankful to actually be able to be here really so good so good <sighs> so we are having currently 5 30 so editing is done we just sorted out the laundry because I have to wash some clothes and I'm actually really hungry so I think we might go downstairs and grab some food in a restaurant because they are like loads of restaurants so we're just gonna go downstairs and grab something I know it's gonna be good because I'm so hungry Football player? No, football. Football player? Yes. Which team do you play? Uh, England. I play in England, bro. England, yes. Guys, some streets are so nice and you won't even get to see them if you don't have Google Maps. And Google Maps brings you to weird places because sometimes when you think, where are you bringing me Google Maps? Actually, you are thankful because you see so nice places. So I just decided instead of going to a restaurant and continue to eat this fast food, I actually need to go to the shop and I'm just gonna try to eat something healthy, really, because I can't keep going to restaurants and eat there. So this is what we bought, yogurt, cheese bread bananas this is some snacks um popcorn rice cakes and water i mean is that really <laughs> really healthy and fulfilling i don't think so but you see usually in romania when you go to those supermarkets you have this like area where you can like buy hot food and vegetables and stuff but i haven't seen it here yet and I tried to Google big stores, but they are a bit far away and I just wanted to go to the shop and just come back here to my hotel and just relax because I want to get ready for the match tomorrow. So that's why I'm just going to do bread with cheese and probably my porridge again. But it's, it's, not, it's not really optimal. Like, And especially a day before the match, I should eat a lot of carbohydrates. And, but I actually want to eat vegetables. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, but that's it. I think I will have to find a solution for tomorrow, actually. So, we are ready to go to bed. It's been a long day again, but actually tomorrow might be very, very important. Because first, there's this match going on. And I definitely need to confirm my performance before yesterday, which is just crazy. We're going to have a match like... <laughs> <laughs> two matches in like three days so I just hope that everything is good I feel ready and I feel fit but obviously today's training session was not easy like we did matches and stuff and I'm like okay there's a match tomorrow but we can't complain we have to just be ready for anything so I just hope that tomorrow actually like i'm gonna play a good match again because this person this coach really seems like someone who knows what he's talking about and it really sounds like he he actually has good connections but as i always preach you can't rely on anyone i can't rely on him i actually still need to do my own thing i actually maybe need to show up to other clubs as well i might need to travel to another city but obviously now I'm training with him and yes, yeah, so I need to sort that out. Like you see all these things in my head are just like, what should I do? What should I do? 
what should be my next step it's just so difficult it's just so difficult but i keep my hope up this is the only thing that i'm in control of so my belief and my faith is just too strong to think that i can't do this i should go back and like nah i just have too much faith and too much like my mindset is just different so that's probably the reason why i'm able to do all of this but i hope tomorrow fingers crossed will be a good match but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button guys and keep in mind when you believe every thing is mm, possible so team run now mm, I'll see you tomorrow.